Hello together, my name is Ruby and now I'm going to show you some useful uses for water and redstone. Well, most of you know how to control water flow with redstone. Just update one of the surrounding blocks of this water block and it will update and flow down here. Well, uh, sadly you can't change the redstone again and the water will not flow anymore. So if we need this little interruption, for example, I mean there are tons of other possibilities to stop water from flowing. Um, I like this one because it's simple, it's easy to reset, and uh, I don't have to use lava, which made problems in the past. Uh, how, does it, how does it work? Well, at first. We'll start with water, flow down, normal, like you expect, no problem. So, if I activate this redstone, change this with redstone torch, uh, and this updates this water block here, it will flow one block to here and then down. So, this torch will be removed by the water, and the sand block falls down and blocks the way out. So this here falls down and the water gets blocked. So to reset all this we have to stop the water flow. Put some blocks in there, refill the water And it's ready to be used again. Well, you have, of course, to remove this first, it's kind of a safety. But for now, it doesn't do anything, nothing happens. Well, uh, there are two problems with this. First, you have to reset it all the time, and next, uh, you have to control those two inputs. Uh, for that we have this redstone contraction. Uh, redstone, redstone. Ah I remember the word. Man. Well um basically uh, you use this with a just a small pulser. So the first pulse activates this Flip flop. Uh, it's um, uh, yes. RS flip flop, uh, and then um, this redstone gets activated, which uh, starts the water flow. Well, uh, the output of the flip flops also add to a little uh, end together with the input of the pulser, uh, so. If the flip-flop gets activated and then another pulse came, comes, uh, the second line will also be activated. So, pulser, just small pulse, flip on. It has to be small because um, it's based on timing, so next time it's on, this will go on two or off. It's not important which state it is, it's just important that it changed. So you can reset the flip flop here. Uh, it's important because if the flip flop is activated, this can pulse. If the flip flop is deactivated, like now, nothing happens. So, if you put this together, you have a one button activation deactivation. And if you put this and copy it a few times, you get something like this. Well, basically, it's just the same thing as I showed you. This little building will uh, start and stop the water flow. Here you have the flip flop and a little end and redstone. Uh, this thing around here 
Um, it's a little end. As long as this torch is on, the input signals will not go up to the next level. Uh, so the input signal can only activate or deactivate the water here. After the torch is uh, well destroyed by the water and the block falls down, the input goes off and next time I activate the whole system uh, the input will climb up one level and do the same thing here. Uh, here's a little puzzle. Pull just enough to uh, activate or deactivate. Not too short, so the redstone torches will be changed and not too long, so what happens all together? Oh, and um, you see that this water comes from above and it flows down here, go there. And here again. You don't have to use uh, water source block for this redstone water event. You don't ha just have to use well, water. The effect works on still and floating water, no matter what you do. So to make the whole reset easier, I just have one little water block. This water block splits to the two sides and from here it goes down and down and down to the end. Um, well, well. That was, was a bit bad yet to make easy. Um, down here, the water will come down. Um, this is just to filter out things that fall down. The items that get destroyed will fall down at some of these points. Just for me to not waste resources, especially redstone. So, uh, I think I will start it now. So the water gets activated. Another thing. Water falls, water falls down, water gets stopped. The mouth pulls this, the next level gets activated. And stopped. And this I can do again. Again. Again, again, so and again, and again. Ooh, little droplets. Yeah, it's a nice effect, I think. I like it a lot, but uh, it only works if you're fast enough and it's high enough to see the effect. So, to reset all the things, First, go to the top. Remove the water here, so it gets removed everywhere. Put the blocks in. Well, that do we on all uh, levels. Then we reset our flip flops, and then we can set the water again. And if we want, we can remove the safety blocks and the whole system gets useful again. Whoa! Oh. Well, it should work now. The top should be activated. Yeah, deactivated. Two. So, um, we still have to reset all, but I think it's a uh, easier way to reset the system and you don't have it to do all the time, you can make more of them, put them on top of each other, stack them or put them uh, aside and put all the chunks full of water controlling modules. Well, uh, try it out. Find different ways to control the water. It's interesting. Microphysics. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.